Hey guys, this is Nicole and welcome back to Honest Try TV. Today we're going to be making the HelloFresh uh, duck a la orange. I don't speak French, so yeah. With duck fat, mashed potatoes, and arugula almond salad. So um, we're going to be making four servings and prep time is 10 minutes, cook time is 40 minutes, so this is an hour. Ugh. Okay, so this is a long one. So let's see if there's anything we can do to help expedite this. Doesn't look like anything's going into the oven. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, all right, so let's get cracking. First off, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my ingredients um, from out of the refrigerator. So I will be right back. Okay, and we're back. So we have two packages of duck breasts. There's two breasts per package for a total of four. And we have our ingredients bag of duck a la orange. Okay, so let's get all of our stuff out and see what we're dealing with. everything and we're going to keep this to use it as our trash bag. So it's here. All right, so. Going that way. What do we do? All right, um, we're gonna dice the potatoes, place in a large pot with some thyme sprigs and salted water to cover. Boil for 20 minutes. Okay. So let's get our potatoes prepped and going for the mashed potatoes. Um, I don't have, I'm in my mom's kitchen. I don't have a lot of space. So we're gonna be doing a lot of the prep work on the stove. Okay, so we have our potatoes on. We're gonna bring these to a boil and then turn them down and let them simmer for 15 to 20 minutes. And I need to take my duck breasts out and pat them dry with some paper towel. And then we're going to put them in this skillet, which I have already turned on for some reason. I don't know why. We're gonna pat dry salt, pepper, and then we're going to place skin side down um, and cook over medium heat, carefully reserving the fat in a small bowl as it renders until skin is crispy, about 15 to 20 minutes. We're gonna tip lower heat if skin begins to brown too quickly. Okay. This is interesting because, you know, I've tried to do duck breast before. I didn't know what I was doing. And I pulled up a recipe online and I actually pulled up several recipes online and they were not helpful. They were not helpful at all. So um, I'm actually really excited about this. because I've been wanting to try duck breast for a minute. After that one attempt that turned out not so well I subsequently um, bought pre-cooked duck from Costco and just, you know, baked it in the oven or whatever, just followed the instructions. It was already pre-seasoned and stuff, so um, that's how I've been doing duck since. But those were duck quarters, pre-seasoned duck quarters. And they were okay, but they weren't fabulous. Like on a scale of one to 10, I would give them about a five. So needless to say, I didn't buy them anymore. Um, I was kind of disappointed. I 
got them for Jason's birthday dinner since we couldn't eat out because COVID. And um, yeah, I made those because I was too scared to go with raw duck because of how my first attempt kind of failed. And yeah, I was very disappointed with how the pre pre cooked um, pre seasoned duck from Costco tasted. Um, this will be my third attempt at duck. I'm going to follow these instructions very carefully because I really love duck. Had it before. I always love it. And I really want this to turn out well. Grab the salt and the pepper. Salt and pepper each side. My One piece, skin side down. All right, so we're gonna start, and this is gonna be 15 to 20 minutes. So 15 minutes, starting now. I'm gonna put a timer on because I'm super, super like paranoid about making sure that I do this correctly. Um, This is my mom's stove. Oh, here we go, timer. So I'm like saying if you're struggling, trying to figure out where's the timer, where's the timer. Um, so 15 minutes. Hey, all right, on. Cool. All right, so our potatoes are simmering. Chicken, chicken, <laughs> chicken. After I give that whole spiel about duck, I proceed to call it chicken. Duck cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my second pair of duck breasts, actually. That's what we're gonna, we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and salt and pepper those bad boys down. Wild Duck Cooks, halve and peel shallot. Thinly slice one half, whole shallot for four servings. Toss sliced shallot in a separate small bowl with half the vinegar and one teaspoon of sugar, one and a half for four, and a big pinch of salt and pepper. All right, let's get our shallots. And based on the picture, it looks like they're sliced long ways. So let's do that. Am I doing this correctly? Blah, blah, blah. How? Peel, thinly slice. Doesn't say how to slice. Ah. Okay, screw it. I'm doing it like this. Yeah, because the other way will give me the little tiny circles. And I don't think we want the little tiny circles for this. So. I'm still browning like really quickly, so I'm going to turn it down quite a bit. I don't know if you can see, but I'm starting to see a little bit of cresting around the edges. 
we're going to see if we can get some of this um, oil off. Oil, oil, oil. We're going to pour the oil. Uh, we're going to get our Mr. Right coffee mug. You know what? I'm looking at my timer and I realized that I did not program this correctly. Instead of 15 minutes, I've set it to 14 hours. I set it to 15 hours, sorry. So, so far, I was panicking. I was like, wow, this time is certainly going by <laughs> slowly. Uh, this is my mom's stove. I don't know what I'm doing. So the goal was to set it for 15 minutes. I set it for 15 hours. And so I was panicking because I looked and it said 1450. And I was like, oh my gosh, I was going by so slowly. What's happening? So 10 minutes have passed. <laughs> got five more minutes before I flip these puppies over. <laughs> it's everything's okay. Everything's under control. It, it's going to be okay. Uh, mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. On that note, let's take a sip of water. Okay. So I'm going to grab a cup. I'm going to throw my shallots in here so they can marinate and vinegar and sugar and such, salt, pepper, etc. Okay. Okay. Right. Salt, pepper. It said half whole shallot. No, 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 no. Half the vinegar half the vinegar. Okay, so I have two bottles of red rind vinaigrette here, so I'm going to use one of them. I can get into it. I will not be stereotypical and call on Jason. I can do this. Look at me. Look at me. All right. All right, so there goes our vinegar. And one and a half teaspoons of sugar. Did they happen to give me any sugar? Probably not. Yeah, I'm on my own. I gotta find my own. Found it. What did I say? One and a half? Right? About a teaspoon. Oh, one. And a little bit. Cool, cool. That looks, that looks good. All right. I'm just gonna... This would probably be better in a bowl because flatter surface would allow for better marinating. I'm just gonna mix it often because I don't have easy access to bowls at the moment. My camera is in front of the, um, in front of the space. Sorry, in front of the door the cabinet where the bowls are and I just don't feel like fighting. So we're just going to stir it up in this cup every couple of minutes to make sure we're getting even coating here. And it'll be all right. Sure it'll be all right. All right, cool. So I'm going to set this aside. We'll come back and stir that a little bit more. I'm just about done over here. I think I have one more minute and then I'm going to Place skin side down on large, cook over medium heat, carefully until skin is blah, 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 blah. Zest orange until you have half. Squeeze the remaining juice into a bowl, blah, blah, blah. Once skin is crisp, flip over duck in pan and cook to desired doneness. Three to five more minutes. I need a spatula. I have none. All right, let's flip these bad boys. I'm going to scoot these over. I'm going to keep my eye on the timer, let that go for five minutes. And then we're going to go ahead and squeeze in the other. I don't know if I can squeeze in two. Just... 
I'm still learning how to control temperature. Wow. Okay. All right. So five minutes. Um, moving on. Let's go back to this orange. Zest. Mm, zesting is impossible. I don't have a zester. So I'm not going to worry about that. How the orange squeeze juice from one half into a third small bowl. Peel remaining half. And dice. For four, squeeze juice from two halves, so one whole orange, <laughs> and peel and dice the other orange. <laughs> All right, so the bowl of orange juice, add, ah, so you're going to create a vinaigrette. Gotcha. So let me get a cup. All right, we're out of cups, so I got to go for a bowl anyway. Darn it. Hold, please. Okay, I disturbed my setup just a little bit, but hopefully you can still see everything. Um, so I got, got our bowl. So we're going to squeeze some orange juice out of this bad boy. And so we've got about two more minutes left on the duck, I think. All right, so I'm going to help. I'm going to quarter, quarter this. Um, little wedges so that I can squeeze with my little small hands. observe these um, yeah I'm gonna bring you guys over so you can see a little bit more closely but my duck still looking rare right so I'm gonna leave them in there just a little bit longer um, until I see a little less pink all right so vinaigrette Orange juice plus jam stock, apricot jam. Uh. All right, da -da 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 -da, jam stock. Concentrate. I'm guessing that's the chicken. We're gonna go ahead and do these bad boys. Jason running to get his phone. Okay. What else did I say? Vinegar. And strip of thyme leaves. So thyme leaves. So you're in there for another five. Okay, cool. You guys, I'm taking you out. So this is what we're looking like. The skin looks crispy. And then the underside is looking well done, which is what we were aiming for. So I'm gonna set these book pieces aside. Um, I got five more minutes on this bad boy. Before I add the second one, we're gonna, oops, where's my first one? Where's mine? <laughs> I almost poured that into the, uh, I almost poured that into the uh, vinaigrette. That would not have been cute. off that duck fat and then we're gonna add our second piece sorry fourth piece fourth piece 
of duck left. And we're done. All the ducks are in. So I got five more minutes on that one, 15 minutes on this one, and then we flip. All right. All right. Now where was I? I was adding some sprigs of thyme to my margarita here. Uh, I don't know how to do this. I understand that you can like just, oh, that's how you, I've seen it, I've seen it on TV. And I was like, how, how do they, how do they, how do they do that? Go, go against the grain, that's how. Okay, interesting. And it should just come on off, I guess. Oh, mine's more, more or less just come apart. More so than coming off, but whatever. Alright, so let me grab a spoon. We're going to stir this up. this aside. Oh, what's next? Oh, mashed potatoes. Lord, I completely forgot about them. <laughs> I forgot we were even doing these. All right, so I need to drain these puppies and then mash them up. Mash with sour cream and a tablespoon of butter, two tablespoons of butter. Add splashes of reserved potato cooking liquid. I was supposed to reserve that. I did not. Stir in reserved duck fat to taste. Season with salt and pepper. Yeah, I totally, totally did not reserve any of that cooking liquid. But I also feel like it'll be okay. Because these have been cooking for a hot blaze of minuto. And I think they're right. The consistency I'm looking for. Even with just the duck fat, it tastes good. All right, so we're adding in the sour cream. Fun. Mm. We uh. They don't provide butter, so I'm going to grab that from out the refrigerator. And we are adding how much? We are adding two tablespoons. Two tablespoons, one, two, right here. Okay, butter, sour cream. Uh, salt, pepper. All right, so let's go ahead and mix these in. And then we're going to flip over our ducks. And we're going to hold these two down. Alright, so we've got uh, 
We got about five more minutes on this bad boy. Oh, oh hey, look at that. <laughs> All right, let's see if this butter is melted. Yeah, just that. Yes, it's it's on. Okay, the butter is completely melted in, basically. And these are our duck fat mashed potatoes. Done. Um, unless I'm supposed to put something else in this, which I don't believe I am. I'm gonna try it. Oh, it's really good. Doesn't need anything but some pepper. Jason really did an excellent job of salting the water. And, I mean, the duck fat. It just makes it so rich and creamy. It's really good. Maybe it's me. It's just how it's me. <laughs> Those are good. Um, I'm going to put these aside. Basically, we're done. So we're going to make our salad. <laughs> Excuse me. Lastly, I need a large bowl. I'm going to use this little tub thing here. And we're going to combine the arugula. Arugula with the mustard. Wait, oh, oh, yeah. That orange from before is coming back to haunt me because I forgot to cut him up. And he's sitting out there like, hey, it was supposed to go on a salad. So here we have package of the Dijon mustard going in. Um, uh, should have been two packages. There we go. Dijon mustard. Okay. Then we've got olive oil. Olive oil. And orange zest that we don't have. Salt and pepper I'll do last. We're going to toss in the pickled shallot. along with the liquid. Got um, almonds. Alright, I'm back. Okay, I think her duck's done. So I'm going to take her out, let her rest, and we still have like a little smidge of um, duck pond here, and oil, and you know your girl's about to put those in the potatoes, yep. Oh, the last step, last and final step that I really am not excited to do. Is to cut up this orange. I'm gonna elicit help because I need to. I'm tired. <laughs> this, this was a lot. We were joking. They said this was gonna be like an hour long recipe. Tired of standing. I'm gonna try a salad really quick and then add salt and pepper and then I'm gonna beg my mommy to come help me cut up this orange. Mm. Doesn't need a thing. Glad I held off on using salt and pepper. That would have been way too much. So this is perfect. Tastes really, really good. Very flavorful. Cha -cha! This is what we're looking like so far. Hey. And throw on some salad. Come on, my man down. You still alright? You still good? And there we go. 
Ta -da. Da -da 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 -da. Doesn't that look good? Mom has a little question marked on on this because of the fat, but I love it. She takes it fabulous to me. So I'm going to go ahead and serve my family, and we will be back to discuss how everybody liked it. This is Nicole with Honest Try TV. We just finished eating the duck a la orange. And mom, dad, how did you like it? Loved it. Daddy, you liked it? Very good. On a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate it? 9. 9. 9. And Jason says? I would give it a hard 9. <laughs> okay and I would rate it I would rate it a nine I mean the food was amazing but you just have to be emotionally prepared for this uh this 40 minute prep time because you know for for noobs like me it, it was longer <sighs> I was I was worn out by the end and you know had to solicit aid from my mama to get these orange pieces into the salad because I was done but all in all um, it was awesome. Like it tasted amazing. And my family obviously really enjoyed it. Highly recommended. So thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And yeah, this is Nicole with Honest Try TV. See you guys later. Bye. Thanks for joining.